having three members of the Tornadoes today. Um, if we start with you, Sune, stand-in captain today. Confusing morning, not knowing what was going on with the rain and everything, and then going to be the seven-over game. What was the conversation like before that, and what was the plan going into this game? Yeah, we always knew seven overs is going to be very tough. They were always going to come hard with the powerhouse team that they have. But I think we just said we wanted to restrict them to a total we would be able to chase down. Um, unfortunately, you know, Tasha and, and Catherine played a, a magnificent innings and had a good partnership. So I think that just took the game away for a second. Um, and Winnie, you were out there bowling while those two were having a, having a bit of a hit. Um, what was the game like for you today and how difficult was it when they were sort of in that form? Okay, uh, for me, it's from the start, they just went big. So, whenever when I came in, by the time I think they really got their eye in and they knew what to do, where to attack. And so, every ball, they went for it and everything went their way. Nothing went our way. So, yeah. Um, and Andrew and May, you're back with the Tornadoes again this year. They're out there in the field. We saw some fantastic fielding from you. What's it like being back with Tornadoes despite not having the results you might have wanted this tournament? I mean, for me, it's always a great experience to play with such great players, even professionals and associated players. And I'm really happy to be back out there. Um, yeah, of course, it wasn't the result we expected, what, but we did. We gave our best and I think, yeah. Um, and Sune, obviously, it's not been the tournament the Tornadoes would have wanted so far. You've still got another game and then potential playoffs after that. What are the kind of conversations that will be had within the Tornadoes between now and the next game? Yeah, I think it's just for us to finish the, the competition on a high. I think we know the class that we have in our side. We know the talent. Um, and obviously, we were the, the champions last year. So I think it's just to get back to you know to what we know, stick to our basics, and trying to get that win on the board. Uh, and Winnie, how much have you enjoyed being back with the Tornadoes this year, despite the results? Uh, being with this team is very enjoyable. But the results have not gone our way. That's something we didn't want. We came with a uh, positive mind, but everything didn't go away. We couldn't control the weather. The weather just didn't stick well for us. So, yeah, we just come back, bounce back strong for the next game. And how much is an, of an impact has Fairbreak had on you and your cricket and women's cricket back home in Malaysia? Uh, Fairbreak have brought me somewhere, taught me a lot, playing against these uh, big players, big country so learning and then bringing it back to my home country and sharing it with the girls there and they they are so very excited and hoping that one day they'll be here like like I am and now I've got another nation player as well in this tournament she's playing in the Falcons team so I hope more girls uh, get more opportunity to play in this fabric and Sune, how much have you loved being, having the chance to captain this side today? And you've got the likes of Winnie and Andrea and these associate players that you don't necessarily get to see on the circuit for the rest of the year. Yeah, obviously we wouldn't have like my first captaincy role to be for a seven over game. I think that's one of the toughest ones. Yeah. But nonetheless, I think it was a good outing for us. Um, I obviously know the girls from last year. We, we got a good bond going and um, we're definitely following the cricket, you know, as the years goes on and you know I think they've grown so much since last year that we've seen them um, you can just see the growth and and the excitement they bring to this tournament so it's awesome to be back with them and it's awesome to see the growth um, and I'm excited for when this tournament just continues um, you know how well they're going to become and and how competitive it's going to become. Um, a final question for you Andrew May obviously you're also a qualified doctor I saw a very funny video of you the other day um, Andrew May broken bones make me happy how do you balance the enjoyment that you get from out there playing cricket with your life as a doctor? Um, I mean, uh, we have like no chance in Austria to play cricket on a professional level. Oh. It might be upcoming, but at the moment it's not possible. And um, I always wanted to study medicine and whenever I have time, I um, try to attend training. But of course, it clashes as well. So I'm just trying to give my best. And um, yeah, I mean, I once wanted to do traumatology. So yes, broken bones made me happy. But now what really makes me happy is our strokes and epilepsy. So we are joined by Sapphire's assistant coach, Hannah Prathui, and Polto. So Polto, you're playing in Hong Kong for the Sapphires, who've just come away with a massive win. What does that mean to you? 
Oh, that means a lot to me, and I feel like this is such an exciting game to me. Oh, I I can see all the players was getting very, how to say, very fired up. Ready fired, to go. Yeah, and we got a pen for it, so we execute execute very well. I'm happy for it. And Hannah, as a coach, it must have just been absolutely Sunday lunch excitement watching those two bat out there, the two English girls in the middle. Yeah, I mean, Catherine Siverbrunt and Tash Farrant were unbelievable. Um, it was so great to see them not only hit some awesome boundaries, but um, really work well with the left and right hand combination. So we've talked about our batting being a key area for us moving forward and um, Tash and, and Catherine really set us up today. So it was brilliant to watch. And it's been a difficult ride for the Sapphires so far. So what was it like to get the first win on the board? Oh, super happy we've got points on the board. I think, um, especially in our second game, we got really close, but we couldn't sort of finish um, a couple of areas in the game and take it through. So, yes, it's, it's been a, a disappointing start being none from two, but today's game, you know, seven overs, you never sort of quite know what can happen in those sort of games. And I think we were ready to go. Um, we were ready to play 20 overs today, but, um, yeah, everyone was ready and, and really excited, and it's really great to walk away with the points today. And so, Paul, too, you're an operations theatre nurse. We just had Andrea May, who is a doctor, so anything on that pitch, we were covered. But that, for you, is obviously a really stressful job as well. How do you balance that with then still being able to go and perform out and play cricket? Well, uh, the time management is the key. So I set my full schedule for training, study, and also my work. It will be a very tight schedule, but it's fine. And how much... Do you love just being able to be part of a massive tournament like this with some of the biggest names in women's cricket? Oh, I feel very excited and we learn a lot. So all the players they are coaching, even all the association player, full member, we, we have a very good uh, team bonding, which uh, we learn a lot and learn how to play under the pressure. And it's also about having the big dog coaches as well, isn't it? <laughs> Not me, that's Shane. <laughs> Um, and what's life like as a Sapphire? Sapphire, um, I feel like those players are very playful. They are very funny people. So uh, I feel like the team are very good to be together. We hang out and everyone went to the training doing very well. Um, and Hannah, so you clocked your first win, you got the points in the bag and it was a big win in a very strange seven over a side. Lots of maths going on in the commentary box today. Um, What's the plan between now and the next game? Well, uh, I think we have a rest day and Disneyland is on the cards for some. But um, I think, look, we're going to go back tonight and, and review the game. Obviously, there's so many positives that uh, we want to talk about. And hopefully, Sapphires are, are on the up from here. So we'll review our processes, have a look, um, set the game for you know our next T20. And yeah, hopefully we can get some more points on the board.